Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. Devontae Smith in the building for Alabama's second pro day. We're going to have some great footage right here of Alabama at the pro day. But before we do, hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. We lead off the footage with Mac Jones throwing a nice little fade route to Devontae Smith. Go get it, young man, Devontae Smith. He can still catch the football. Mac Jones can still throw the football. Yeah, I know. Water is wet, right? What more do you want from Devontae Smith? Honestly, the production that this young man put up at the college level was straight ridiculous. Everybody's talking about his weight. Who gives a darn, right? He weighs 170 pounds. The ball is only 12 ounces. That was Nick Saban, by the way. That's what he said. Doesn't matter. Nobody has that type of competitive spirit, and nobody can go and get the football like Devontae Smith. Look, Alabama has had some incredible wide receivers throughout the last several years under Nick Saban. Devontae Smith honestly might be the best of the bunch. There is simply zero reason to doubt Devontae Smith and what he can do on Sundays. Good to see him back in the mix after his injury against Ohio State. My goodness, that was an incredible game. Caught for over 200 yards in that matchup. You also got Najee Harris coming out. And Najee Harris said, look, my name is Najee. It's not Najee. That's what he wanted everybody to know. My goodness, he looks good, 230 pounds. And I think that even though running backs aren't taken, um, you know, within that first top 20 of the NFL draft, Najee Harris, whoever ends up with Najee Harris is going to get a back that can contribute from day one. I think everything that Najee Harris has done at Alabama has been a impressive and his ability to catch the football out of the backfield I think really sets him apart I think when you look to next level backs and backs that can contribute on every single down they have to be able to catch the football they have to be able to be durable look Najee Harris has been very durable my goodness he looks quick he looks quicker than he did um, even during this last season at Alabama I think he's really honed in on his craft he has the power he has the endurance didn't do any testing today, but I mean, does he really need to show you that he can um, have an incredible vertical jump? I mean, just rewind to some of those incredible hurdles that Najee had and that we've come to love by watching Najee Harris. And my goodness, he just looks so poised and polished. I honestly think he's the number one back in the NFL draft. So cannot wait to see where Najee Harris ends up. Really glad to see him right here on Pro Day. I think overall, he just looks exceptional. I think this is the best he's looked. And I think that he's not even 100%. As you can see, that right ankle is still a little bit taped, but the footwork is exceptional. The hand-eye um, coordination in terms of catching the football, just his acceleration overall. And, of course, you know that Najee Harris is chiseled. So um, cannot wait to see where Najee goes in the NFL draft. I want to hear from you inside the comment box. Do you think that Najee Harris is a first-round pick? I certainly do. I think he he's going to be late, right? He's going to be in the late round. Wherever he ends up, know that you're getting a day-one contributor, in my opinion. I think a lot of the storyline obviously revolved around Mac Jones today, getting a, another opportunity to throw in front of NFL organizations. You're going to see uh, Bill Belichick from the New England Patriots. A lot of people feel that Mac Jones could be um, within that top 15 range. Of course, there's a lot of buzz this past week as the 49ers traded down to number three. I'd be curious to see if the 49ers do actually take Mac Jones or maybe a Trey Lance or even a Justin Fields. I think it's down to those three quarterbacks for that number two spot, which is pretty incredible. And I think what you're going to get with Mac Jones, as we've talked about several times, is a proven leader and a proven winner and a guy who has an extremely high IQ, not to mention that he can spin the football very well. Threw for 4,500 yards for the Alabama Crimson Tide, can even run the option right here and can catch the football. Look at that athleticism from Mac Jones uh, doing his thing. And I love that they're just having a good time. It must be so great for these guys coming off a national championship to come out and have another pro day in front of these NFL coaches. And I think overall, um, Mac Jones is just uh, an exceptional player. One of the top quarterbacks ever at Alabama. I know when Tua Tungvaluwa left Alabama, I think there was a lot of people that felt that the quarterback position was going to take a dip. But Mac Jones continued to showcase um, a great ability to throw the football extend plays, and most importantly, be efficient. I think that when you look to Mac Jones as a quarterback, the efficiency rating that he had this past year was really incredible. Um, good zip on the football and overall showed that he can win big games. And I think going into this season, the 2020 season, a lot of people wanted to know if he could win big games because they felt that, you know, he couldn't beat Auburn and there were some question marks. He came in uh, to that 2020 season and really showed how much he improved as a quarterback from a footwork standpoint, from a technique standpoint. Obviously, Steve Sarkeesian did a great job. And it doesn't hurt to have weapons on the outside like Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddle, right? So um, this is the best footage, by the way. So let, let's kind of rewind on that.
This is Landon Dickerson, okay? He's 6'6", 330 pounds, doing a cartwheel, having fun. Remember, he came off an ACL injury, and he's just having fun with it. Wherever Landon Dickerson goes, that might be my new NFL team, okay? Look at the athleticism from the big man showcasing his um, gymnastics approach with in some incredible technique on the, on the cartwheel, right? Have you ever seen anything like that? Let me know in the comment box. Give us a thumbs up for Landon Dickerson, uh, one of my favorite players since covering the Alabama Crimson Tide. Just so much positive energy coming from that young man. Going to miss watching him for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. My name is Kyle Henderson coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama.